What's up? Let's get some people on here. We'll give a couple of minutes. Today we're talking about cholesterol. What's up, Revis? What's up, Rachel? Mama Z? Stephanie? What's up, y'all? Amy, what's up? What's up, Agali, y'all? So I wasn't going to get on here, man, but, um, you know, today's Wednesday, so remember when, and uh, we're going to do a show today. So we're talking about cholesterol while on keto. Because some people, they had they were hitting me up today, and they were saying, man, you know what? My cholesterol is up. Shout out to Mike, man. Shout out to Jose. What's up, all of y'all, man? I appreciate y'all reaching out to me and stuff. Uh, you got to excuse my voice. I've been really, really sad. Uh, but, um, you know, I wanted to come on here and just do the show real quick. I didn't tag nobody. I didn't tag nobody. But, you know, so this show today is about cholesterol. So the other day I had a, um, a friend of mine. He's the one that dropped down um, 80, I think he's probably like 87 pounds now. And he says, man, I went to go see the doctor and everything was great except I had high cholesterol. And honestly, it, it, it sounds crazy and everything, but high cholesterol is not going to give you heart disease. It's not going to hurt you as long as you're doing the keto lifestyle. You know, it, it's a whole different thing, you know. And it, sometimes, honestly, if you look it up, having lower cholesterol, real lower cholesterol while doing the keto lifestyle is not that good. And having no cholesterol is really not that good, you know. You need to have some kind of cholesterol. So if your cholesterol is going up, it is going to go up because you're eating different. You're eating more bacon. You're eating more meat and everything like that. And honestly, you're going to be okay, you know, because it'll balance out. It'll balance out, you know, it'll balance out and everything, you know. Hey, what's up, Juan? Shout out to Juan, man. So shout out to all of y'all, man. Uh, if y'all want to know what's going on with the case, um, for some of y'all, I'm pretty sure everybody knows now that my niece, you know, she's the one all over the news everywhere, Sierra, right? So we're just trying to get justice for her right now. We're just trying to get justice for her. And uh, I don't want to get too much into it, but. Uh, hopefully she's going to say the right, the, 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 the truth, the right story and stuff like that. And, you know, and, it, and it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, the autopsy was yesterday. So we should be receiving that in a couple of days, maybe like six days, five days. Uh, just pray for us. You know, that's all I continue saying. Just pray for us, you know. And, um, you know, we'll get justice for her. How do you make your keto tortillas? What ingredients do you use? You know what? I have never made keto tortillas, but you can, but you can. Um, I actually buy the tortillas. I buy the, the, the low net carb tortillas, you know, and you can buy them and they're like three carbs. I think that, I think the most are like four carbs and five carbs the most. And you can find some at three, you know, you can find some at three, but um, that's the best thing to do, Mike. You can find them at HEB. You could find them um, Walmart. You can find them at different places. And, you know, regardless if they're, Usually you find them four, and if they're bigger, you find them at five. But regardless of what you find them at, they're better than the, the real tortillas. They're better than what you're eating now, you know, and just get them off the comad real hot, and you'll be okay. So hopefully that answers your question, man. Uh, shout out to Diana. Shout out to Fernando. Um, shout out to Melody. Shout out to all of y'all, man. And, and uh, if y'all on this video thinking I'm going to talk about what's going on, um, I'm not talking about that. I'm just here to do the video to talk about um, cholesterol, to the, about the keto lifestyle, you know. Um, people are still hitting me up, you know. They're still hitting me up. They're respecting, you know, what I'm going through and everything, but they're still hitting me up. Um, and and, and, and I, don't, I don't blame them. I want to make sure they don't, they don't cheat. I want to make sure that, you know, they're saying, today I had somebody send me um, a bread picture of some bread, you know, that HEB is carrying. And I think it's called zero bread or zero carb. And I looked at and he wanted me to look it over and I looked everything over. And it's pretty good because it has um I think it has seven fiber and seven carb net carbs. So if you just, you're pretty much just subtracting the fiber from the net carbs, and that's what you get. You get zero. So that's what you get. And then um they're okay, it's okay, but you don't want to take that every day, you know. Me personally, I don't I don't eat bread no more, so it, you know, it's not something that I need, you know. But um, yeah, I just wanted I just wanted to share with y'all, you know, 
you know, the cholesterol thing. So this is a doctor right here. Let me let you hear this doctor. Hold on. Oh my God, I started keto and I've lost 20 pounds and I feel great and my psoriasis is gone and my heartburn's gone, but my cholesterol went up and my doctor freaked out and put me on a pill. What should I do? So that's what this video is about. Now, if you know anyone who has high cholesterol or who is worried about their cholesterol or who is hesitant to start the ketogenic way of eating because they're afraid it'll raise their cholesterol, please share this video with them on their Facebook page or on Instagram or Twitter or uh, Vero, the new one, right? Have you heard of Vero yet? And we'll get back to it right now. We'll get back to it right now. But um, he's an he's an awesome he's an awesome uh, he has doctor. He's an awesome doctor, and he does you know talks about that about people getting high cholesterol, and people are scared because they think they're gonna get heart disease or they're gonna have a heart attack and stuff like that. But it's not true. It's not true. You know, you're not you're not gonna get that. You're not gonna get that. So I could tell we got we got a lot of people on here. We got a lot of people on here. But hey, this is about the keto lifestyle. This is about the keto lifestyle. If I could help you in any kind of way, this is what this is about. Um, uh, hopefully we get justice soon. You know, I could tell y'all that, you know, we're, we're all praying for justice. Um, honestly, I could tell y'all that, but, um, and when I know something, I'll let y'all know something. Um, you know, some people is just, it's so much going on right now, guys, so much going on. You know, it's, it's, you know, my brother's about to lose. Um, I mean, we are, you know, we, I'm losing my niece and my, my baby niece. So, it's crazy. It's really crazy right now. It's really crazy, man. All we doing is praying. You know, we. It, this affected me about the 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 uh, Malia case, and about other cases that I see. It hurts me, but now it's in my family, so you can only imagine what we're going through. You can only imagine, you know, and and, and it's not something that that's normal. You know, it's really really hard. There's nothing out there that's this hard. It's really really hard. You know. But uh, I did tell myself that I wasn't coming on here and I was going to cry. Plus, my eyes, my eyes, they hurt already. If you can see how puffy they are, I've been crying almost every day. I've been crying every day. I can't even talk about it because I just start crying and crying because nobody, nobody deserved this. You know, nobody, especially her, you know. So we're looking for justice. We're looking for just, justice. And uh, so, again, this video is not about that. This video is about... Um, the keto lifestyle, the keto lifestyle. It's about, um, today we're talking about cholesterol, you know, uh, talking about cholesterol while doing the keto lifestyle. So some people are scared. Some people are like, you know what? I want to do the keto lifestyle, but then they say, man, you know what? But my cholesterol goes up too high. And a doctor told me this. Well, you got to understand something. The doctor is never going to tell you what you want to hear because they want to keep on seeing you. They want to keep on seeing you. You look, I know my cholesterol is probably high, but I feel amazing. I feel amazing. You don't know how good I feel. You don't, you wouldn't even begin to know how good I feel. And there's a lot of other people out there. Like uh, Raymond says, man, you know what? I went to the doctor. All my numbers are good. My ACL, everything was really good. He says, but my cholesterol was a little bit high. Just a little bit high. But it's going to balance itself out. So don't be as scared if you want to do the keto lifestyle and you're scared of high cholesterol, don't be afraid of that. What causes heart disease, what causes heart attacks, what causes strokes, what causes this, the number one thing that causes that is sugar. That's what causes it. You know, when a, when a person gets too big, they got, they got to worry about diabetes, you know. And, and again, it's not a, so much about the outside. It's about the inside, you know. But it all comes from sugar. And you're going to hear him talk about that. You're going to hear him talk about everything he's going to say, you know. But um, uh, shout out to uh, Rosa Rodriguez. Shout out to Pete, man. Um, shout out to Frank. What's up, bro? Um, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, pray for justice. Appreciate that. Appreciate appreciate that. Uh, I don't want to say your name wrong. Uh, is it uh, Claw Claw Claw? You know what? I'm not Claw. I'm gonna call you Claw if you don't mind. You no, know, appreciate that. Really. Pre from the bottom of my heart, me and my family appreciate that. Shout out to Letitia. Shout out to all of y'all. Um, so I'm going to continue with the video, and I'm going to move it a little bit farther down, though. So Hold on. These people relax and diet or any diet, right? We're trying to improve the quality 
and length of our life. We want to have a nice, long health span where we're, we're able to, to live happily and disease-free and enjoy our life. But we also want to have a long lifespan as well. But we don't want to have a long lifespan without a long health span. Does that make sense? And so if you live to 100, but you're in the nursing home after a stroke from the time you're 70 until you're 100, that's not, that's not the goal. That's not what we want. We want you to be 100 and healthy and vigorous yep. up until you're 100. 99. And then something happens and then you die. And that's, that's how it is. That's life, right? You live, you die. But we, don't, we want you to have a good, long, healthy lifespan. And so what we're trying to do with the ketogenic diet and with every single recommendation that Nisha and I give you is we're trying to decrease your risk of bad things happening. And so when it comes to cholesterol, we all think about heart disease. Heart that's what attack, he says. Heart failure, stroke. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. What we're really trying to care about when we talk about cholesterol and, and risk factors like that is, will this increase my risk of having a heart attack or will it lower my risk of having a heart attack? And that's really the question you should be asking about the ketogenic way of eating. Not will it raise my cholesterol or will it raise my LDL? Cholesterol and LDL are just what we thought was a marker of your risk of heart disease, right? That's what we... Okay, so he says, so he says that, you know, cholesterol was a marker. Like we thought that that was something that that was would hurt us, you know, but it really don't hurt us. It don't hurt us. So high cholesterol does not hurt. High cholesterol does not hurt, you know. And I know, I know y'all on here. There's some new people on here. Please put one. Please put one. I know a lot of y'all are not on here for the, for the, for the, for the keto lifestyle for, um, for anything. But hey. If it can, if I can help you in any kind of way, reach out to me eight three two seven one five two five five seven. I'm always giving my number out, guys. Man, I'm really trying to be shared up, but it's, it's impossible. I, I I can't I can't be shared up, you know. Um, I shout out to my wife on here. Um, so guys, I mean, it's just horrific, man. It's it's just, I mean, it's just out of the world, you know, what's going on right now. But again, we just want justice. But Talking about cholesterol, guys, cholesterol. If if you're not doing the keto lifestyle and you want to do this amazing lifestyle, the only thing that I see different that I wouldn't say that he's saying is diet. You know, the keto lifestyle is not a diet. It's an amazing lifestyle. And I tell people all the time, you hear diet here, diet there, diet that. But it's an amazing lifestyle. It's an amazing lifestyle, you know. But, um, you know, please, please, um, if it's your first time on my show, please put one. If it's your first time on my show, please put one for me. Put put one for me. Um, you can you can um, you can put whatever you want on there. You can put whatever you want on there. If I could ask you, if you got any questions, I'll, I'll try to answer your questions, man. I'll try to answer your questions. But um, so so maybe it was not a good idea for me to get on here, man, because um. I'm trying to um, I'm trying to do a, a video, and I know y'all want to know about what's going on. And pretty much all I can tell y'all is that we we all praying for justice. That's what we're waiting for. And um, and I appreciate all the prayers and everything that's coming in. Uh, one thing I, I I can say is that um, my nephew set up a GoFundMe, and uh, we're all coming together, and you know, and we're trying to all put together. Just recently, um, my stepfather passed away. I don't know if y'all remember, my stepfather passed away from cancer. Uh, colon cancer so it's a really really bad time right now for all of us right and uh, it's a different kind of pain because with my with my stepfather at least i i knew i wanted him to stop suffering i knew i wanted him uh, to, to be at a better place and with with my niece it's it's a way different thing you know it's it's way way different it's a it's a it's a, it's a horrible pain it's a horrible pain and um and i'm not going to cry you know um Man, I can't cry no more because my eyes are going to shut on me, man. You don't understand how hard they, like, it's hurting me real bad. Like, they feel like they're cutting up. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm not being dramatic. It's really, that's how I feel right now. But, um, um, so the thing is, you know, we're, we're in the process. We're, everybody's trying to tell me, well, I, I haven't been over there. We're, we're trying to tell my niece, you know, say the truth, say the truth, you know, as far as I know right now. Uh, she's protecting him. You know, that's all I can tell y'all. She she's protecting him, and that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it. That's all I can tell you that she's protecting him. But 
All we want is justice. All we want is justice. And I'm sure everybody on here wants justice. I'm sure all of y'all want justice. Don't y'all want justice? I'm sure y'all do. But um, so man, the, back to the keto lifestyle, man. Cholesterol, high cholesterol. Don't be scared. Don't be scared to have high cholesterol. Only to be as scared if you have high cholesterol, if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not doing the keto lifestyle, if you're eating a lot of sugar and everything, you know, you know, sugar's the devil, guys. You know, there's nothing else. There's another way I can code it for you. Sugar is the devil and it would destroy you from the inside and from the outside. Guys, uh, I ain't been on here long, man. I've been on here 15 minutes, and I apologize. Um, maybe I'll come on here a few days later or something like that. I apologize again. I, I appreciate I appreciate everybody. You know, I try to come on here, and I try to do a video. Maybe it was not something I should have done. But I appreciate everybody coming on here, man. And, um, you know, I always tell you, share my video and share my video and share my video and keep on sharing my video. And, um. You know, it's just to share my video to help out people, you know, with their health and stuff like that. I just want to put put a person with better health and stuff. Uh, today, the video is a little bit different, you know. So if you don't want to share it, I understand. Um, the main thing is I need justice. We want justice for my niece. So whatever rumors you're hearing out there, whatever, if you want to call me, if you want to inbox me or tell me something, I might not get to you right away. But I will tell you what's going on. I don't have no problem with telling you what's going on. And I appreciate y'all. And like I said, we do have a GoFundMe. Uh, it's under Rick Bontuelo. Rick Bontuelo is all over my page. It's all over my page. It's all over my family's page. Um, and uh, you could find it there. You know, you could find it there as for her her biological, biological dad, whatever. He's never been in the picture since she was born. He never seen her when she was born. Um, he's never ever been there, you know, and now he wants to come in and play daddy, but, um, he's not, I, he even got to the point where he made a GoFundMe page and we made him take it down and stuff like that. So don't fall for his, he's never been there. So he's never had to, he could never pick up a phone and call her when she was alive. And now he wants to come out and play this, you know, I better not run into him or none of my, my family better. We're the family. We're, we're her family we're a family so whatever y'all hear there's a lot of comments there's a lot of stuff going on people bashing everybody everything's so bad right if you want to know the truth and you want to hear the truth and if you know me or if you just got to inbox me and if i can't get to you right away then i'll get to you sometime but i'll let y'all know what's going on man guys i appreciate y'all man y'all be blessed i uh, take care of yourself i uh, love your love your loved ones because you just never know what can happen. You just never know what can happen. And, and for all the ladies out there, for all the mothers out there, do not trust. No, no, no motherfucker. And I hate to cuss, but do not try anyone. I wasn't trying to cuss. But do not trust nobody that you don't know. You have to know somebody and really, really know them. Really, really, really know them. Guys, I appreciate y'all. Sorry for being so down. Um, have a blessed day. And we'll go back to the cholesterol. We'll go back and do a cholesterol. I don't even know what button I'm pushing over here. So we'll go back and do the cholesterol video maybe in a couple of days. Um, justice for Sierra. Justice for Sierra. Y'all be blessed, guys. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. Bye-bye.